days of the first ever MC auditions. It's just a, you're making history tonight at Riverside Theater. It's just going to be an amazing evening. We have uh, like nine or so uh, uh, candidates for the job and a uh, great crowd. You're, congratulate yourself. This is nice. This is, this is really nice. And I will explain in a little while how this procedure goes because we are making it up as we go along. I tell you what, in the five years that I have been the uh, host MC here, the <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. I missed only one weekend. Yeah, uh, for a family reunion that I couldn't get out of. It wasn't a, a full family reunion. It was just the relatives we were still talking to. After the reunion, we're not talking to any of them. <laughs> Told my wife, I can't do it. I promised that I would never miss a show. My wife Barbara says, what's more important to you? The Comedy Zone or your family? <laughs> I said, can I get some time to think it over? So I went to the family reunion, and John Moses was my substitute. Now, John's a very clever guy. What he did is find a life-size photo of me, cardboard backing, a little flat, so it stood up. He made a flat Gary. <laughs> and he did such a great job, and as I understand it, flat Gary even got applause. <laughs> Now, two weeks later, the next Comedy Zone, Flat Gary's in the green room. I put it in the car to take it home. I get home, it's late, my wife's in bed, I don't know what to do with it. I left Gary standing, Flat Gary standing in the kitchen. <laughs> in the morning, I slept in. Barbara got up, went to the kitchen, flipped on the light, damn near had a heart attack. <laughs> In the morning she left me a note, she said, I'm, I'm walking, I have to slow down my heart after the kitchen event. <laughs> Anyhow, that's the kind of excitement you can look forward to as the MC here at the Comedy Zone. Tell you what we're gonna do is uh, actually start with Joshua, I had to remember that. Joshua will start. And then beyond that, I will just yell out the next names and it's somewhat alphabetical. So if you know the alphabet, it's going to be good. <laughs> what we have here are the stairs outside, which is good because we, before, the first time, we had people going in here and those curtains, the black curtains, it's very hard to find the hole to get the hell out again. <laughs> I, after the, that show two weeks ago, I came back on Friday, there was a guy still stuck in there. <laughs> he could not figure out how the hell to get out. So we've improved that. You'll be able to just come up here, get up here, and, and do your thing. By the way, uh, what will happen is uh, you have like five minutes or a little more. Uh, Dave, if you would, show, show them the, um, the uh, light thing that you're going to do to be the warning, light warning. Watch how this works. Is that good? Man, that looks like you need to do something. Yes, yes. If, if, if you're still into your thing and, and, and there's something more to, uh, to say and do, go ahead and do it. However, if they start taking the tablecloths up and stacking the chairs, it may be time for you to quit. But we're going to have fun here tonight. We appreciate your attendance for sure. I, uh, I think we pretty much covered, are there any questions, by the way? Oh, we do have a question, for Christ's sake. I'm going to potentially embarrass myself in front of all of you tonight. So, which, should we come up, or should I be in, like, some room with champagne? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think get in your car with a six-pack would be about that. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what the hell I do. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> I knew this was going to be a strange evening, so it's very good. Joshua is our first. Joshua, please come up here to the uh, table. Well, hang on a minute. We got some very. These are the the uh, 
Powers people, and I want them to get settled in here nicely. I, like, I have had the opportunity to meet so many nice people here at the Comedy Zone. When I go around and talk to people, these are some of my favorite folks here. Yeah, I'm going to let them sit, get, get sit down nice. Uh, they told me that uh, they'd be coming in late, and uh, we should make it a big deal, you know, and all that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, they could have come earlier. But, uh, but they said, hello, we want, to, we want to call attention to ourselves. That's good. Yeah, next they'll be asking for free drinks, you know, all of that stuff. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bring Joshua up here and then uh, I'll be allowed to Here we go. for a memorable Labor Day weekend. That was something, wasn't it? Really good. We are so pleased to see all of you here tonight. How great it is to get together and be happy again. And we have a great show for you. Good entertainment. In fact, this will be more fun than watching the Weather Channel. Keep you happy, you can order a food or drink at any time during the show. Write what you want on the order form, place it in the stand on the table, and stuff will happen. Leave a tip, make them happy. After the show, comedians be in the lobby. You can meet them, greet them, tell them how you like the show, or just stand and stare at them. We, uh, we do have a uh, presenting sponsor tonight, the very lovely and talented Nelson Morgan Wealth Management at Merrill Lynch. They, uh, it's a good group. They, uh, they actually were on the Forbes Best In-State Wealth Advisors list. Not bad. Uh, Nelson Morgan, a place to go if you have some dough. <laughs> These aren't the jokes, ladies and gentlemen. You need to help an old guy out just kind of laugh. Just go ahead and come in any time. I want to ask you now to shut off all the electronic devices, if you would, please. That's very important. Uh, shut off, please, that cell phone, uh, laptop, your pacemaker, <laughs> and your vibrator. If you would shut that off. <laughs> Leave them off, please, during the show. That's the important part. And also table conversation. If you would keep that to a low level or a no level, if you absolutely have to discuss the world affairs, please step to the lobby and solve them for all of us. We appreciate your cooperation. We do this to benefit the people around you. They came in here to enjoy themselves as you did. And uh, we're all in this together. So laughter is welcome at all times. My name is Gary Parker. I'll be your MC for this evening. I am um, really on the... Uh, on the way out, so to speak, this is my, uh, I have one more weekend as the MC here at the Comedy Zone. Uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know it's very disappointing to you. I've only been here, oh, Jesus, five years, 400 shows, 100 weekends, 200 nights, way beyond my bedtime. <laughs> so it's about that. They actually, people have been asking, have they uh, selected, uh, you know, someone to uh, replace me as the MC? And they're working on that. I have not heard what the deal is. Apparently, uh, you know, the things that happen have uh, been out of their control. So uh, we don't know yet. I know they're going to replace uh, me with four or five people, which is kind of comforting to know. <laughs> I'll be replaced by a group, for Christ's sake. That's really good. That's, that's, that's not bad at all. You know, people argue about who has the worst weather. When I, we lived in Omaha, I would go to California for business, and they would say, Nebraska, man, I'll bet it's cold back there, isn't it? I would say, well, it can get chilly, but we don't have earthquakes like you have here in California. They would say, earthquakes, nothing. We don't have tornadoes like you have back where you live. I say tornadoes are nothing. We don't have mudslides like you have in California. Guy says mudslides are nothing. We don't have Indian wars. <laughs> what the hell's a little Indian war once in a while? But park the SUVs in a circle, you're safe. 
these aren't the jokes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> help a guy out in these uh, declining days. Uh, uh, sure, 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 thanks a lot. I don't care, I'll bang. I really don't know. I'll just go after it. You know, I, I would hate to be in a hurricane in one of those cruise ships. It's bad enough in regular weather. In a cruise ship, you are trapped in a floating shopping mall. <laughs> they know people on vacation get stupid with their money. They had one good deal. All the booze you could drink for 56 bucks a day. One drink costs eight dollars. You only had to consume seven drinks a day to break even. I took that challenge. I beat them every day. Except the last day I just sat by the pool in a wheelchair. On a cruise ship, eating is entertainment. You get the fine dining plan, eat any time plan, and the eat all the time plan. <laughs> With that one, at night, you get intravenous feeding. <laughs> we went with another couple. Here's how we talked. What do you want to do? I don't know, what do you want to do? I was gonna do what you want to do. What do you think the wives want to do? They'll probably do what we want to do. Let's go have a drink and decide what we want to do. <laughs> Our cruise lasted four days, felt like four weeks. I heard a woman say she signed up for a 28-day cruise. That's not a cruise, that's a sentence. <laughs> Martha Stewart didn't serve that long. <laughs> what made us happy is we were, take, we were able to take our first cruise and last cruise at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we're going to have some fun tonight, ladies and gentlemen, our, uh, our feature performer, Bob Lover. He's been featured on Rock of Daytona. Now, don't get too damned excited. <laughs> and he's a regular at the Atlantis Hotel in the Bahamas. Which we recently learned is still there. Here he is now, bring him up, Bob Lover. show the comedians are going to be in the lobby you can meet them and greet them tell them how you like the show or just stand and stare at them uh, we do have we do have a uh, presenting sponsor tonight and we also have music going on at the same time I would sing this song but I don't want you guys to start taking your clothes off thank you very much this is good uh, I, you know, I thought I was hearing music and you weren't. And, and that was starting to bother me just, just, just a little bit. We, 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 have, we have a presenting sponsor tonight, the very lovely and talented Nelson Morgan Wealth Management at Merrill Lynch. Uh, they had to put in the uh, sponsor because my pension plan is just underfunded all to hell. I mean, I'm just not going to make it. I went in there and talked to him about uh, my financial situation. I'll never forget what he said. Too late. <laughs> Nelson Morgan, Wealth Management at Merrill Lynch, a place to go if you have some dough. Uh, you are catching on. You are catching on. Listen, uh, by the way, we need to ask you now to shut off all electronic devices, if you would. That would be uh, your cell phone, the laptop, fish maker, 
and your vibrator, if you would shut that off. <laughs> Leave it off, please, during the show. That's the important part. And also, table conversation. Keep that to a low level or a no level during the show. The reason we ask these things is to, to uh, benefit the people around you. They came in here to enjoy themselves as you did. And we appreciate your cooperation. We are all in this together. And um, laughter is welcome at all times. My name is Gary Parker. I will be your MC for this evening. And uh, this evening and two more weekends only. And then I will be leaving. Oh my goodness, leaving. Man back there with the light on, can you shut that off please? I would appreciate it very much, thank you. Right back there with the light that uh, looks like something came in from the moon. There. What is it? Uh, thank you very much. It's, it's, it's just, uh, yeah, well that's good. Either that or take your clothes off. I wonder what it is. You know, it's equally distracting, I'll tell you that right now. Mm -hmm. God, what? Blow it out! Whatever the hell you gotta do. <laughs> Anyone remember where we were here? What is the deal, anyway? Yeah. Anyhow, yes, people have been asking about uh, my replacement for the uh, Comedy Zone. And we had, uh, now, the last edition of our auditions uh, last night, and uh, totally 15 people tried out for this job. And uh, there's no question uh, that we're going to have some good candidates. I learned that they're going to uh, select between three and five people uh, to to be the MC, and, uh, which of course tells me that the theater thinks it'll take a group to replace me. That's 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 I'll be telling that around to the folks. I'll tell you that. Listen, and well, I, I'm going to mention this again. Uh, the uh, the comedy zone. The um, home office in Charlotte. They did have a, a survey that they ran, uh, all of their locations all across the country, and, and all of their comedians, and I was selected the number one Comedy Zone host. In my age bracket. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what comedy's all about. You have to believe me. <laughs> yeah, I tell you right. Uh, this it's it's so much fun up here. It really is, and uh, those people who audition are going to have a very good time doing this. By the way, you guys have pets. Do you have any? You know, people have pets. Yeah, yeah, dog or cat, something like that. I, we had a cat that lived with us 19 years. Pets last longer now than they used to. When I was a kid, if I had a dog lasted three years, I renamed him Lucky. <laughs> cats need better PR. You tell someone you don't like cats, chances they'll look like they agree. You tell someone you don't like dogs, chances they'll look like you just farted. <laughs> it's true, some dogs have special skills. You've never heard of a seeing eye cat. And a drug sniffing cat found drugs. They keep it. <laughs> I went to pet supermarket. They've got everything for pets. They even have greeting cards for pets to send to people. So now you go to a friend's house and the dog humps your leg. Two days later you get a card from the dog. <laughs> Just thinking of you. Wish you were here. Thank you, thank you. Hey, our opening act tonight, our, our feature performer, Chris Lee, he has completed five USO tours entertaining our troops overseas. No small deal. He did that in 16 countries. He's a Florida native, ladies and gentlemen. Bring him out here now. Chris Lee. Here on C, guys. <laughs> the comedy zone. So, are you looking for a good time tonight? Hey, that sounds good. You've come to the right place. Got a great show for you. Uh, you're going to go home happy. I'm a little tuned up tonight myself. This is my 100th weekend working the comedy zone. 
you, uh, some of you know this, the uh, Comedy Zone headquarters in Charlotte uh, did a survey. They, they did a survey in all their locations across the country, all their comedians, and I was voted the number one Comedy Zone MC. In, in my age bracket. Now, since this is my last weekend, I know some of you are going to want to buy me a beer. <laughs> but I can't drink on the job. So if you would please, just leave the money in the cookie desk out front and I'll, I'll take care of it. Speaking of beer, by the way, you can order a drink or food at any time during the show. Uh, write what you want on the order form, place it in the stand on your table and bingo stuff will happen. After show, comedian's gonna be in the lobby, you can meet him, greet him, tell him how you like the show, or just stand and stare at them. A lot of people do that. We have a presenting spotter, sir, tonight, the uh, lovely and talented Nelson Morgan of Wealth Management at Merrill Lynch. Uh, yes, yes. Darn it. These guys were named to the Forbes list of best in-state wealth advisors. So, Nelson Morgan, a uh, place to go when you have some dough. <laughs> These are the jokes, ladies and gentlemen. If you can help an old guy out, for Christ's sake, thank you, Pete, we appreciate it. Also, I need to remind you to shut off all the electronic devices, if you would. Uh, that would be the uh, cell phone right there, sir. If you would shut that off, I'd appreciate it. And the laptop, uh, your pacemaker. <laughs> and your vibrator. If you would shut those all off, please leave them off during the show. Also, table conversation. Uh, talking at the table. If you would keep that to a low level or a no level during the show, we would certainly appreciate it. Now, the reason we ask this is to benefit the people around you. They came in here to enjoy themselves as you did, and we are all in this together. We appreciate your cooperation. Uh, thank you very much. And laughter is welcome at all times. My name is Gary Parker. I'll be your MC for this evening. And then I'll be leaving. Oh, you'll just go, go, go off into the sky. It's going to be amazing. Listen, next week is going to be exciting for me. My wife and I are going on a trip to Montreal. Pick Montreal because I'm too cheap to fly to France. <laughs> Montreal is French enough for me. <laughs> it's like you don't have to go to Cuba, just visit Miami. <laughs> you, you don't have to go to Mexico, visit LA. <laughs> you don't have to go to Bangladesh, visit Felsmere. <laughs> and I was on a roll, too. <laughs> It's going to be a special, a special trip for us. We are celebrating our wedding anniversary. Barbara and I have been married 53 years. Can you imagine how many times she's been told, you deserve a medal? Something stand-up comedian uh, was on my bucket list. Let's face it, at my age, it's either do this or Amway. <laughs> Truth is, I don't have a bucket list anymore. I'm proud to say I crossed off everything. I didn't do any of it. What a relief, knowing I don't have to do that stuff. A goal written at 18 looks exciting. That goal at 65 looks stupid. Some think there are too many old people in Florida, and they shouldn't be driving cars. I think older folks shouldn't be driving those giant Winnebago motorhomes. Eighteen tons of steel and a microwave oven, blasting down the highway at 80 miles an hour. At the wheel, an 87-year-old driver, smoking a cigar and drinking a Coors Light. She's enjoying her retirement. Florida is home to the world's largest RV dealer. What a surprise. 
<laughs> One day, they sold a brand new motorhome to a 91-year-old tourist. Who on his maiden voyage, put his motorhome on cruise control, then walked back to the kitchen to make a sandwich. <laughs> It's true, you're only young ones, but I've found if you work at it, you can remain immature indefinitely. <laughs> That's my time. Thanks very much. Thank you. Oh man, here we go now. Get it rolling with our feature performer, B.C. Murphy. B.C., he's a feature comedian. He has been on Last Comic Standing. You may have seen him there, or maybe not. He's a national touring comic, originally from New York. You're going to like this guy, B.C. Murphy. Timber Garrett! Yeah. Yeah. We had no idea he was leaving. This is like following Lou Gehrig, for God's sakes. Which is weird, because he was at Lou Gehrig's last game. 